One of, another C for us are, is called conditions. And this includes the organizational culture among other things like upward leadership and so forth. You know, we know, as, as you do too, that conditions change in a healthcare environment because it's a very dynamic thing, not all the same people work all at the same time and so forth. But we also know you have to be flexible in sports to accommodate varying conditions uh, and circumstances. So how do you prepare your team to be successful in variable or unexpected conditions? When the fire alarm gets pulled, you better have a plan. You know, and it, it's, uh, you know, that's kind of that's kind of life and that's that's sports. And, you know, we all go in with these brilliant game plans that we are positive is going to work and it's going to be smooth and, and everything else like that. And it's 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 yet to to happen that way. You know, our, our opponents have something to say um, uh, about it. And, um, you know, so. It, there's a lot of preparation of of what are we gonna what are we gonna do when that uh, when that fire alarm gets planned? Uh, you know, a few years ago we were um, uh, we were playing in, in a regional final, so this was a this was a match to go to the final four, and um, uh, probably about eight points in the first set, uh, Lauren Carlini, our All American setter. Uh, pl player on the other side goes underneath the nets and takes her out um, with a really bad ankle injury. And, you know, so it's obviously the biggest match of the year. And so we moved some things around where our right side, Courtney Thomas, was she was going to move from the right side to the setting, and, and uh, which is something that's uh, – you don't see very much, you know. Usually, you have a backup setter, and uh, th this was this was our right side taking over. And we just she had set the previous year, and we just had a lot more confidence in in her, and uh, we ended up winning that set. We ended up losing the the match in four. It was just a really competitive, great match. Penn State went on to win the national championship that year, but there was probably the top two teams in the country. But. Um, you know, afterwards, that was a question that was asked is, you know, in that situation when Lauren is being helped off the court, what did I say to, to Courtney? And I, I said nothing. There was, you know, that, that's not the moment for the pep talk. That's not, it's, we had prepared all season for other scenarios. And, uh, and that was one of the scenarios is if something were to happen with, with Lauren, uh, you know, this is what we are going to be. And, uh, and that gave confidence in Courtney, that gave confidence in the rest of the team based on, based on the preparation. <clears throat> and so you're, you're helping your team uh, with a plan B, with a plan C, with whatever, and you're trying to, you're trying to help them through with not only a preparation, but <clears throat> to, have a, to have a mentality that there's just no fear in that. And so they can go out with confidence and be able to execute. And then just having a mentality that, that the team has your back, that, uh, that the team um, is prepared for this. And uh, with confidence and with no fear and with some preparation, uh, then, then you're ready for those things when, uh, when conditions are not going, going your way.